This AI art creator made thousands of dollars by selling this one AI art prompt, and there's hundreds of creators doing the same thing. Want to make some extra cash by buying and selling prompts? Stay tuned to learn how to use the number one AI prompt marketplace, PromptBase, so you can start making your own passive income. Hi everyone, and welcome to AI Art Academy, your go-to spot for all things AI art. Since tools like Midjourney and Dolly exploded at the end of 2022, we've seen thousands of creators leverage them for their own online businesses. And that's because AI is offering a new way to work. You can create something once and sell it forever. For the most part, AI art has been sold on Etsy, with some stores making tens of thousands of dollars a month. But if you've tried selling AI art before, you know just how hard it is to make a sale, let alone make enough to pay your rent. Sure, it can be profitable, but the stores that make this much money are in the minority. But now there's a new way to make money in the AI art space, and it doesn't require selling on Etsy or even selling art at all. Instead, you sell prompts. A prompt isn't the art itself, rather it's the words used to create it. And the better your prompt, the better your result. So good prompts are extremely valuable. Content creators, hobbyists, digital artists, or even brands might not have the time to sit around and try prompts over and over to get that perfect art piece. And that's why so many people are paying for prompts, even though there are thousands of them listed online for free. So get ready because in this video, you'll learn everything from how to get started to how to make your first sale. And before you know it, you'll have your very own passive income machine. But real quick, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We cover the latest trends and tools being used in AI art, and we'll be featuring tutorials like this one on how to profit from it. Since Midjourney went live in October of last year, I happened to stumble across PromptBase, which was almost unheard of at the time. I remember looking at their website traffic volume, and it was basically a ghost town. And the same could be said about their social media following, but oddly enough, I saw ChatGPT prompts in PromptBase before ChatGPT even broke the news. And since Midjourney and ChatGPT have exploded, more people are discovering PromptBase too. So what is PromptBase? It's a marketplace for buyers and sellers of AI art prompts, which are the words used to create the art. When we talk about prompts, these words act as a template to create the art itself. For example, let's say we wanted to sell some Star Wars AI art. Here we have a picture of a Darth Vader Lego. If you wanted to sell this on a platform like Etsy, you'd probably run into some trouble. Assuming your piece doesn't get taken down for copyright infringement, you'd be selling in a popular niche which would make it hard to stand out. But let's say I have a prompt that I can use to turn any Star Wars character into a Lego. You can use this prompt to make Luke or Princess Leia, Chewie or Han Solo, or even C-3PO and R2-D2. That sounds pretty interesting, right? The benefit of selling prompts is that you don't have to stress about making each individual art piece perfect, but instead you're selling a template to help someone create a variation of your idea. When it comes to prompts for popular copyrighted films like Star Wars, there's sort of a gray area because you're really just selling words. But you don't have to rely on intellectual property to create profitable prompts. Let's take a look at some of the top selling creators out there. The number one mid-journey prompt creator, Mr. Dan, has made over 1,500 sales since joining the platform only six months ago. A lot of Mr. Dan's listings are for $3 individual prompts, but he also sells bundles for around $10. So if we assume he's making four to five bucks a pop, that would be around $6,000 to $7,500 in sales so far. PromptBase does take 20% in fees, so his profit would be a little less, but at the end of the day, he's made thousands of dollars just by selling AI art prompts. But Mr. Dan's store doesn't tell the complete picture. So if you can make that sort of money now, who's to say how much creators will be making in the coming months and years? Yes, the top Etsy stores are bringing in a lot more money than the top prompt-based stores, but it might be easier to start making money on prompt-based given that there's way less competition. But before you can start making money with your prompts, you'll need to decide what you're going to sell first. Just like selling art on Etsy, you'll need to do market research on what's trending and what sort of niches have sold well so far. One way to check out what's trending is by going to the community sections of Midjourney and seeing the styles and prompts keywords that other people are creating. If you haven't tried Midjourney before, make sure to watch our video on how to use their Discord and subscribe so you won't miss our upcoming Midjourney prompt tutorial video. 
The research phase might be the most important part when it comes to selling prompts because you need to gauge whether there will be interest in what you're selling. Look at the best selling prompts and the featured prompts on PromptBase to see what people are buying. PromptBase doesn't have any third-party analytics tools like we see with Etsy, but the trending page and best prompts of all time page will give you plenty of info to get you started. Okay, moving on to the next step, selling your prompts. To get started, sign up for a free PromptBase account and then head over to the Sell tab in the top right corner. For this example, we're focusing on Midjourney, but you can also sell prompts for platforms like ChatGPT, Stable Diffusion, and Dolly. When it comes to AI art, Midjourney is top dog by far, and Dolly and Stable Diffusion are a distant second and third, so keep that in mind when choosing a tool to create prompts for. We actually did a comparison between Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and Dolly in this video, and we'll leave a link for it in the description below. So once you've decided on a prompt to use, you'll need to come up with a product name and a product description. The name will be visible while users navigate the site, but the description will only be seen when someone clicks on your listing. For this example, we'll sell my LEGO Star Wars prompt, so my title will be LEGO Star Wars Characters. And for my description, I'll give the prospective buyer a few reasons why they should make the purchase. For example, I'll give them ideas for how they can use the art, which versions of Midjourney the prompts are compatible with, or anything else I can think of. I suggest taking a look at some of the top sellers to get an idea of what their product descriptions cover. And lastly, you'll need to set your price. PromptBase has set prices ranging between $2.99 and $6.99, so you won't be able to undercut your competition like we're on Price is Right. Keep in mind that if you're trying to make sales, it's probably best to sell on the cheaper end to establish a following before you think about raising prices. This next step is where you'll put your actual prompt. And remember, you aren't selling completed prompts. They'll have blank sections where the buyer can add their own keywords to customize it. Think of this like a game of Mad Libs. Anyone else remember those things? The tall man entered the nice building to visit a very nice man. And lucky for you, I'm giving you this LEGO Star Wars prompt for free. Think of this as our way of saying thanks for making it this far into the video. Subscribe if you don't want to miss when we give out more prompts in the future. So here's the LEGO Star Wars prompt, and as you can see, there isn't actually any mention of LEGOs. This just goes to show that recreating images isn't straightforward and why so many people pay for prompts that they struggle to make themselves. Here are some examples of what would happen if I simply typed LEGO Star Wars characters. As you can see, the styles have a lot of range and it makes it harder to get what I want. Then for the next section, we have additional details and this is where you write in caveats. For example, this prompt will work better with older and more historical Star Wars characters, so I let prospective buyers know in case they want to make a LEGO version of a new character from The Mandalorian. For the next step, you'll have to upload 9 images without any edits so you can prove that the prompt works. Make sure that images use a 1 to 1 ratio. If you're not familiar with aspect ratios in Midjourney, make sure to check out our V5 tutorial where we'll show you all sorts of prompt tips and tricks, including how to use aspect ratios to your advantage. The video is linked in the description. If you run into any issues, you can use the video in the top right corner as your guide to fill out your prompt listing. Once you have your listing info, you'll need to connect your bank account so you can get paid. And this step is pretty straightforward. Once that's completed, just make sure to review all of your info and then you're ready to post your first listing. As you start to make sales, you'll unlock a bunch of new perks with your prompt base account, like being able to list your art at higher prices, submit multiple listings at once, or earning badges for certain categories so people know you're a specialist. But arguably, the biggest perk you can unlock is becoming a prompt engineer. A prompt engineer is a new kind of technician skilled at crafting the text prompts that AI uses to produce consistent outputs. We've seen tons of full-time prompt engineer jobs created through the AI industry over the past few months, and now PromptBase is letting creators do some freelancing. Prompt engineers are similar to artists, but the main difference is that engineers are focused on making AI art repeatable, while artists focus on the image itself. And on PromptBase, engineers have the opportunity to make a lot more money, because they can take custom orders similar to popular freelance platforms like Fiverr. But instead of selling prompts for a couple of bucks, engineers can set their own rates. 
Going back to our example from earlier, Mr. Dan charges $50 for custom prompts while other creators have been making sales for nearly $200. And once you've made 25 sales on prompt base, you'll be eligible to become a prompt engineer. This gives you time to prove that you have the skills to make custom orders and that people like your work. It also gives prospective buyers an idea about your style. And once you've made your 1000th sale, you'll get the prompt base top seller badge, which is always visible on your profile and is almost guaranteed to bring more eyes to your work. Okay, so now that we've covered selling prompts, let's look at why you might also want to buy them. Any AI art piece starts with an idea, and while coming up with the idea isn't always that hard, bringing it to life can be. You might be someone who struggles to come up with prompts, so you're forced to scour Midjourney or Twitter looking for art with prompts attached. The problem is, this isn't really structured and it's more of a you get what you get type of situation. But with the prompt-based marketplace, you can finally have a structured lookbook full of prompts. And if you end up finding a prompt you like, you can buy it to make your very own art and do whatever you want with it. So if you have your own Etsy store, come up with an idea for an art piece, find a prompt that matches your idea on prompt base, and then for a couple of bucks, you can repeat the prompt and sell it back on Etsy. You can sort by what's trending, what's performed the best over time, or you can even search for prompts based on keywords. So for example, this is the most popular mid-journey prompt of all time with all these cartoon dogs and cats. Before we buy, we can tell the prompt is 59 words. It's been tested and it's compatible with mid-journey version four. This account has over 500 sales and it's safe to say a lot of them came from this one prompt. So if you can make one prompt that goes viral, you could make thousands of dollars. But maybe you have an Etsy shop with a niche focused on cartoon animals, which would make this the perfect prompt to help you make your next art piece. Or maybe you have a custom or print on demand site and want to put these cute pets on some clothing or stickers. Buying the prompt on prompt base only costs $5, and if you can use it to make art that sells, you could make hundreds or even thousands of dollars, and I don't know about you, but that seems like a risk I'm willing to take. And in case you're someone who's looking for a prompt engineer, here's how you can make custom orders. All you have to do is click Hire in the top right corner on the prompt base website, and then choose which tool you want prompts for, and you'll see dozens of engineers for hire. Take some time to check out their portfolios and get an idea of their style and their rates. And once you've found a prompt engineer you like, click the message button on the top corner of the screen to open up a message. Then click Buy Custom Prompt where you'll submit payment and provide your instructions. And if you're on the fence, make sure to reach out to them first before buying a custom order. One of the most popular products sold on platforms like Etsy and Fiverr are custom logos, and logos happen to be something mid-journey can really excel at. So let's say you're someone who wanted to start your own custom logo side hustle. A prompt engineer might be able to create a prompt that you could use to consistently make custom logos in a specific style. We've seen people do this before, and as the world of AI expands, I'm sure we'll see prompt engineers utilized in all sorts of new and exciting ways, which is just another reason you might want to become one yourself. When it comes to making money online, the best products are the ones you can make once and sell for a long time with minimal effort, and that's exactly what PromptBase offers. So that wraps up today's lesson on buying and selling on PromptBase. We'll be posting some of our personal experiences and results along the way, so make sure to subscribe for future updates. We here at AI Art Academy, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.